every single time this guy sees a goose or gooses gooses as he likes to say he whips out his camera and starts recording them you're gonna go talk to the the gooses <laughs> what you gooses getting into oh you're Hungry? filming <laughs> i didn't know you were filming i was just staring at you thank you <laughs> doesn't like paper straws for whatever reason. Makes his mouth dry. I like paper straws so I don't have anything against them. What if they make these or they have them like delivered? We should ask. It's like rude to ask. I just like to assume that they make them. If I see like they're frozen or something, I'll be like, yeah. No. Dude, I've never seen Smarties this big. What if they don't taste good this big though? <laughs> they might taste less good, least good, less. And I can never wear that anyway. It's kind of cool though, right? This could replace the Costco one. You can just wear that out. Everywhere, <laughs> even if it doesn't match. I feel badass in this. I feel like I lived in like the 1800. Well, no, that's too old for this, right? This is like what. 19 something <laughs> yeah we'll say like 1920s honey honey <laughs> we've got to go pick up the kids from church is it real fur i don't know it's 200 something dollars is there any juice yeah would you like me to make you some tea baby <laughs> <laughs> have a wink <laughs> hey is this recording it is recording now is the sound good? I think the sound is good. I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready to rock and roll. So if you guys are new to my channel and this is your first time on my channel, hello, my name is Vanessa Gomes. Those are the best empanadas, hands down. Hands down. That's a new thing. Hands down on the table. So when I introduced myself just now and I said my name is Vanessa Gomes, I totally missed the point on what I was gonna say after. And I started talking about the food. I'm always getting sidetracked with food. <sighs> Bubbly. The best. So in this video, I want to talk about the best thing that I have done so far in 2020. To be more specific, the best thing that I have done, aside from finally acknowledging that I needed help with something and going out of my way to getting help, which if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I will put a link in my description of the video that I'm referring to. And what that is, is that I deleted my Instagram account. But I believe that social media has been ruining the newer generation. People back then growing up or teenagers, kids back in the day, I feel like they weren't so focused on being an adult, you know, looking like an adult or just looking forward to getting out of their youth. Uh, back then, I feel like kids and teenagers lived in the moment. They lived presently. I really just idealized just becoming an adult. Like I wanted to grow up already. I wanted to get a job and like look like an adult and <laughs> look more feminine and get a boyfriend and all these different things. And let's say I had no phone or no social media whatsoever and growing up and just completely taking that out of the picture, I feel like I would be living more like a kid that's just focused on my youth and not on the internet and not on what we see every single day. And I believe with social media over time, we've just been instilled with these norms and these expectations on our life. And that has 
has really impacted our mentality. It's at least definitely negatively impacted my mentality. Instagram is like a toxic relationship that I struggle leaving and I always go back to, but I know it's not good for me. I know I might be dramatic to some people and they're gonna be like, well, you just don't have self-control, this, that, and the third. So many people have Instagram and they don't make it such a big deal. That's great for them but everybody's different and it's not working for me. You pick up your phone and you think you're gonna be on it for just five minutes, but then next thing you know, 45 minutes goes by and you were just sitting there. To be completely honest, the app has negatively affected my self-esteem and my body image and just the way that I look at myself entirely. It's made me look at myself in such a low way that I absolutely hate it. And I think to myself and I'm like, what benefit do I really get out of using Instagram currently in my life? And I know that there's lots of pages on Instagram that are positive quotes and it can be used as motivation and certain things like fitness goals or whatever, you can use that as motivation through the app, but for me, it's not motivation, it's just making more procrastination and more self-esteem issues. Now, another thing that I'm gonna have a difficult time admitting and saying because it's something that I don't want other people to know, but I feel like after my last video, I'm just gonna go ahead and say whatever's on my mind right now. I am sick and tired of trying to get pretty or look good or put an outfit on or put makeup on. And the first thing that I'm thinking about is taking a photo for Instagram. And if you think about that and you really like look deeper into it, it's not just about you wanting to take a picture just to receive the likes. It's also, it shows that, that you need validation, that I need validation, that I needed validation. I no longer want to need. I no longer need. I no longer want to need. I'm working on it, guys. I just, I don't want validation for me to believe that I'm good enough or my self-worth or to even just wake up and feel positive about myself. And I'm not gonna sit here and say that since I've deleted the app that I've become such a crazy productive person and I'm making drastic improvements in my life within a week after deleting the app. But I have noticed slightly more positivity with myself and I know it's only been a week, but a week is still a week. That's seven days that weren't happening before. I'm not sitting there just scrolling through Instagram. I have way less screen time on my phone. I've been focusing more on me, and this is gonna sound crazy, but I've actually been going to the gym more. I've been eating healthier. I feel more positive. I feel like I'm not sitting on my phone and looking at Instagram models and feeling insecure about myself because, because I'm not looking at them and I'm not focusing on that. I'm not paying attention to that. I'm not paying attention on or worrying about likes or what I'm going to post. It's just non-existent for me right now. And for me, it's working and I feel great. And I don't plan on reactivating my Instagram for at least a while. I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm never going to use Instagram ever again in my life. But for now, I don't want anything to do with it anytime soon. And I'm happy with the decision I've made. And... Yeah. Now I want to say that this video is not in any way to try and convince you guys to delete your Instagram or to make you believe that Instagram is not good, that you should hate it. It's just my experience and my viewpoint on it. I don't believe it's healthy for me. I just want to go back to focusing more on my life, focusing more on what's going on today in front of me physically and figuring out just how to be happy without any of that. I'm sorry if that was really long, guys. I just really wanted to voice and express my opinions on this matter and let you guys know what is helping me out. If you guys do struggle with the same thing, and especially, you know, if you add that with depression or anxiety or anything like that, self-esteem issues, insecurity, and you notice that you're on this app for an excessive amount of time out of your day, I would consider 
deactivating your account as well. If any of you guys also decide to get rid of any social media that you notice is toxic for you, let me know in the comments below how it works out for you. And that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it so much. And as always, enjoy the rest of your week. And yes, I stole Tem's studio. This is my studio now. So what camera view you guys want to see? Come on, let me know. Leave a comment down below. <laughs>